If Jesus came at five o'clock tonight, are you secure? Because, folks, he's going to come back. He says, as the lightning flashes across the sky, like that I will return. And millions of people will not be ready. You're probably one of the millions. That's why you should come and listen to me. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you this. There's a God who loves you and a Christ who forgives you. But he'll never forgive anybody who won't repent. If you want to stay in your sin, enjoy her. Jesus says that's where you'll go. But if you come to Christ, you'll be forgiven. Look at this. On the cross, he said the most startling thing. He said, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they do. Well, that man's going to meet him one day. That man there. See that man? He's going to meet him. It doesn't sound as though he's ready for me. There we go. But ladies and gentlemen, Jesus Christ forgives people. But he never forgives anybody who won't repent. Now, I'm going to finish there. And I'm going to ask you a simple question. When you consider the life of Jesus Christ, can anybody better it? Anybody here better this life? Can you better this life? He's got all power. And he comes into the world. And he loves you and me. And he dies instead of you on a cross. So that your sin can be washed white. And Whatever, man. And ladies and gentlemen, are you forgiven? Are you sure you're forgiven? Are you ready for heaven? If Christ returned now, would he find you wanting? Ladies and gentlemen, when Jesus died on the cross, there was a man to his left and a man to his right. He divided opinion in his death. He divides opinion every day in Britain. And ladies and gentlemen, this Jesus will only forgive a few who come to him. If you want to stay with your grave, keep walking, keep ignoring this message, wander on, buy your presents, enjoy your Christmas. Billions and billions and billions of people do it. Write to a man, just enjoy your Christmas. Just keep on, keep off your fight. Don't think about Jesus Christ. And then fight the end comes. And ladies and gentlemen, those people will be lost. And I'm saying you're likely to be one of them. But on the cross, Jesus hung there publicly for your sin. If you think it's a smaller thing that I'm saying, warn her on. But you're going to die in your sin, said Jesus. And an eternal death awaits. And Jesus says, come. And if you come to Christ, you may be forgiven. If you don't come to Christ, you will be lost. You've been warned. The ball's in your court. And if you want to wander on without Jesus Christ, I wish you well. But you've got to deal with the Son of God who hates sin, who doesn't want sin in heaven. He doesn't want the world to be wrecked. I'll take this man's question in one minute. But I offer to people a little gospel to anybody who would like it. Ladies and gentlemen, that gospel is for anybody who wants life. If you'd like a free copy of this Christmas, read it through. I'm talking about Jesus who loves you, who hung there with a crown on his head, saying, I love you. Yes. Yes. Good guy. Yes. What's your name? Okay. All right. Hello. That's not Jesus' message. Why was he loved? I don't know why. Your message is you, sir. How do you treat me? Yes. No, 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 no. He's loved. You're as low as he is. Are you going to heaven to pay? Are you going to heaven? It's totally wrong. And he's come back to tell us Jesus according to what the Bible says Jesus was a Jew. He was. He said salvation's on the Jews. And they rejected him. Exactly. Yeah. You're right. But what? So going to what is in Palestine and Israel? Yeah. 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 They're fighting yeah. each other. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Yeah. so yeah. sir, you, love you and I will never yeah. agree. Yeah. But how am I by the cups of his on this herd? It's how you treat each other. I don't know, and neither do you. What Jesus does, are you right? I don't know what Jesus does. Well, so I go to the one who said, I cannot lie. Well, listen, sir. I know his face now. I've seen his face. There's a wanted poster in the barber's by ours. 
Well, you want the pumps in the barbers? What do you believe? Hey, get his hair cut. Heaven. Hey, I believe what he's saying. Heaven hey. or hell is here today. What, why do we treat so many people the way we do? If there was a God. I the gentleman said this. He said, heaven and hell is on earth. It is. Yes. Now I'm saying, sir, if you've not gone beyond the grave to see if there's a heaven and a hell beyond the grave, how do you know? How do you know <laughs> that heaven and hell this is worse or better than my way? When I die, which I'm a lot older than you, sir. Okay. I don't mind. That is what I've been. I treat everybody. Well, that's good. I'm not talking that. But ladies and gentlemen, I'm saying to you, what I'm saying to you is not to me. No liar what? can enter heaven, as the last page of the Bible. I'm not a liar, sir. You've never told a lie. No. You've never told a lie. You've never, never. Have the you ever told a lie. That is a lie. You've told a lie. Yeah, more. No. Not exactly. No. See, <laughs> so, with all due respect, sir. You're judging me, so that means you're judging me, so we're both judgmental. Let you tell me about you being in prison. And today, you're judging you, so you tell me. Now, you're judging me, so you tell me. Yeah, do you? It's a question. You're judging me, so you tell me. No, I don't. Because what I believe is a good person. Why do you want to pay for it? But Jesus said, no man can judge me. Yes, you did. You did. That's what he said. If he said, no man is good, then no man is good. That's not what I said. No, never said. Well, let me answer that question. Let me answer that. You've asked me no, a great your question. Opinion. Okay. No, well, if you ask me a question, listen to me. All right, listen. Your question is this for the people listening. Why does God allow what happens badly in Palestine and Israel? Is that fair to your question? Now, look, lady, let's say he stops it. So let's say at five o'clock tonight he's going to stop it. Because you're saying he should stop it. He couldn't. And no, 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 listen. You asked him the question. Now, if he, if he causes every murderer, every terrorist, and he stops them now, and then they say, hang on a minute, what about all those people in Southport who've told lies, who've seen things on the telly they shouldn't have done, who've been paedophiles? Well, they should be sorted. Shouldn't they be sorted out? Yes, which means we're all in trouble if he turns up. So, if you want him to turn up, folks, it puts us all in the, in the stick. What? But Jesus, because the God is the judge of all men. So you're lying then? Yeah. Go on, next question. Yes, I'm going, but I'm going on the basis that I'm forgiven. This. You're going on the basis of this. Are you Mark, Luke, and John? I know my disciples. Is it a disciple of you and Mark? I'm a nice man. Oh, James. What's up? I'm a gentleman. Are you forgiven, though? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm just going to put up. Thank you to my friend. Ladies and gentlemen, I offer a gospel of John to anybody who'll read it. I'll tell you why I give it away. Listen. I started reading the Bible. I read Genesis and got lost. I read a page of it and I knew all my disciples. Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. Twelve. Matthew, um, John, don't know who the hell Matthias is. Is hell a bad place or a good place? It's an awful place. I reckon everyone goes to hell. I think everyone's before then. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just saying to people, in this book it says this, God so loved the world. I live on the world, I'm happy he loves the world. He doesn't hate the I'll world, what, he loves the world. He gave his only begotten son, he had one son, he came at Christmas time, and he died on a cross. And ladies and gentlemen, he says, and whosoever will believe on him shall never perish. If you want to go into eternity as you are, without Jesus, I wish you well. You probably will. But he says, you'll never perish if I put my life in your soul. At 19, I got forgiven, are you forgiven? I'm giving that to anybody who'll read it. Thank you to that gentleman over there. Oh, gosh, thank you for your time. Oh. And I'm giving this, ladies and gentlemen, to anybody who like a little gospel. Actually, I will take that. Dave, thank you. And thank you for your time. What's your name? Vinny. James. James, good to see you. Do you want one? No, because he doesn't really disturb all this nonsense. Eh? No, it's fine, James. All right.